You know, insulating your cargo doors isn't that complicated. I am going to walk you through the process to set you up for success. So let's go. This is part of a series, a van build series dedicated to a healthy, non-toxic van build so that you can enjoy your journey with peace of mind. So let's get started. What are you going to need in order to insulate your cargo van doors? Well, I have chosen wool. Now, wool has some advantages over spray foam. One of them is that wool will absorb moisture from the air, the condensation when you breathe, and then it will only release it when the air is dry enough. That helps to prevent corrosion on the interior uh, of your van. Also, spray foam has a tendency to dry out and withdraw itself from the surfaces that it has been stuck to when it first cured. That means that now vapor can get trapped between the, the spray foam and the surface, and we don't want trapped moisture in a van. Now this is controversial. Look it up for yourself. I have chosen wool. Let's take a look at what you're going to need for this job. Number one is a trim removal tool set. Now the trim removal tool set has some pieces in it that you, you're not going to need for this job. The only two pieces that you're going to need are these two right here. But the other pieces might come in handy for other parts of your project. So I think it's worth it to keep this all in your toolbox. So here we go. We're going to work with these two pieces. I have chosen to use fish tape. Now, fish tape is this roll that electricians often use to fish wire through walls and houses. Now, we can use it for our purposes here while insulating the cargo van. You could also use a string uh, just or with weight at the bottom or a wire that has some heft, some stiffness to it so you can push it on down. You'll, this is all going to make sense in a few minutes. Uh, electrical tape is handy if you're going to use the fish tape so that you can make an end and use the electrical tape then you'll see what what this is used for in a moment so come with me over here this is what you're going to start with now i have the insulated covers that's all that that is and this is a plastic cover that's covering what you the cavity that you just saw we're going to tackle it with those two tools here we go now it's a little stiff at first, so don't worry about that. You're not going to break anything, but just be methodical. What you're going to encounter are these clips right there. So this clip is all there is. There's no adhesive that's holding this black plastic to the metal. This tool is notched so that when you go down, you're going to grab it's just going to grab the plug and it'll just pull out. These are reusable too, so you'll be able to put it back in. Here we go. Okay, it can be a little tough to get started, but let's do it. Here, I'm going to come on over here. I'm just taking, and you'll choose which end makes the most sense. I'm taking one end of the smaller one and I'm going to pull. And then you just look in there and you'll see something green show up. And that green, this is a Ford Transit, that's what they look like in the Ford Transit, is your plug. Now let's see. Okay, I see a little hint of green. So I'm just going to jam the other one in there. And let's see. I mean, maybe I might need to switch here. Yeah, to this one. So this is the sharper angle end. I'll get more leverage that way. And... Voila! So we're just going to continue like that all the way across. All right. So come on over here and, and take a look inside. You can see that these green ends are, are what you're looking for. That's your visual cue that it's time to change your tool um, and get it positioned. Thank <laughs> you. 
there we go. <laughs> and this is our last little hold out there. Done. <sighs> that feels awfully good. The wool is from Havelock Wool. This is a great product. It's already pre-cut for van builds. If you go to the Havelock Wool website, they have van insulation. I mean, you can't ask for more than that. You can enter in your cargo van make and model, and they will tell you, there's a calculator on there, how many boxes to get to insulate your van. It's pretty great. They come in these bats like this, just like this, that you can rip apart <laughs> to uh, push into the smaller areas. You can also just place fully into the larger cavities. You can cut them up to fit wherever you need, which is what we're going to do right now. All right, let's get, let's figure out the size. All right, so by holding the wool up to the column that you're going to be pulling it up through, you get a sense of your dimensions that you're going to need to cut. The wool is two inches thick. Uh, you don't want to compress your wool or it'll just become a conductor rather than an insulator. It'll become too dense. So keep it nice and loose like this. Don't pack it too tight. These uh, columns are about two inches thick, so you only want to cut the width of the column and put one piece in this column. This column's a little wider, so you might end up putting two, two pieces next to each other. Whatever you determine is easiest for you to pull through. One, one big one or two smaller ones. For this left column, here's a bit about the anatomy of your cargo door. One of your concerns is the linkage rod that runs from the trigger here all the way up to the latch. The latch is what connects to this bolt to keep your door closed. Whenever you pull this trigger, that linkage rod pulls down in order to open up the space in the latch. So with your wool, you're going to want to go behind the linkage rod and just keep it nice and loose. You'll be fine. Now, the cutting to fit your wool is super easy. The only thing you can need to measure for is your width of the column. So you just hold the wool over there, get a sense of it with your fingers, and cut. You're going to cut right down here. Now, you don't have to worry about the length being too long because look at this open cavity. Whatever excess there is is going to go right into this nice open cavity. It's so nice working with a natural material to think that this came from a beautiful sheep. And apparently, modern sheep really need to be sheared in order for their own health. So it's also a good feeling knowing that this, this is a humane <laughs> uh, project. This is great for a non-toxic, healthy van build. Really soft. It's not at all harsh on my skin. I'm not even itching. This, this is not itchy wool <laughs> at all. Wool fibers, I, I really encourage you to look up the magical wool fibers online. They are fascinating because, you know, these help keep wools alive in all kinds of climate. Wools alive? Because, <laughs> you, know, you know, wool is amazing. It helps keep <laughs> sheep alive. <laughs> I want to introduce you all to my brother, David, who happens to be an electrician. So he really knows his fish wire and his knots. So I'm going to be behind the camera this time, and he's going to show you a handy dandy technique. All right, everybody. All right. We're going to do uh, fishing 101. As Blue Wonder Lady mentioned earlier, we've got the handle to open the door, which is, has a linkage in this cavity that goes to this latch that, that uh, goes on the catch when you close the door. Well, I'm going to just fish this in and I'm going to go straight to the back of the door and I'm going to let it ride 
just behind all that stuff. And there's nothing really to impede the travel. I'll just get it down. Well, I think I'm about there. I'm just going to reach in here and find my fish tape. There it is right there. And I can feel up inside that it's actually behind and, and running clear where I need it to run. So that's good. And we're just going to leave that hang there. You can use wire, 12 gauge wire, any stiff media you want. We just happen to have a fish tape, so we're going to use it. And I'm going to make a little head here with this bit of bat. I'm just going to put that on there. I'm going to grab some good electrical tape. I'm going to get a little bite. I'm going to come back onto the rod so I get a good contact point, nice and sticky. And then I'm just going to roll this over nice and tight. Just like that. And you'll learn the virtues of electrical tape. This could be applied to a thousand applications. It's great to have a roll or two in your van. And now, I'm just going to coax this up in here nice and easy. No hurry. I don't want to pull it apart until I'm ready for it. I'm going to feed from both ends if I can. And there, there's the end of my fish tape. And I'm just going to pull this out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pull that out. And now we've got the insulation up there. That's as far as we can go. And now we've got some insulation there. We're not going to worry about this tailing. We'll just tuck that up in there. And then when we do this side, we'll just do the same thing. There you go. Fishing 101. We're going to set you up for success with the trickier side of this cargo door. Whereas this side just had the, the rod going up and down, this has a few angles right here because the door catch goes into the door. And this little trigger here pushes back and forth. The fish wire needs to get up there as well as the wood. It all needs to go around it. Easier with two people. So David's up there. He's going to pull and I'm going to guide. Yeah. Oh, I feel it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So with, with my hand, I'm just guiding. I'm feeling where that rod is going to go. And I'm just making sure that the wool goes past it without getting caught. That's all. Very simple. There's nothing sharp in here that I can feel so far. But, you know, of course, always be careful. We're doing good. And we'll keep it, you want to keep the wool nice and loose, remember, so you're not jamming it in there. How's it feeling up there, David? I'm right here at the top. David's up there at the top. He's got a little tail right there. Um, so now David is going to pull and the electrical tape, because it's just so stretchy and everything, that it just pulled right off with a little bit of tension. So, <laughs> so now the column here is insulated and the inner column here is insulated. This is good news. So what do you do about the stretch along the top? It's up to you. Now, I don't want you to get buffaloed by this. This is not a big decision. Uh, not, nobody's going to die or anything like that. Um, you can leave it uninsulated, right? And just cover it with something that it provides a little thermal break uh, so that you're not getting the cold air coming in through that metal, right? Or you can, with your fingers, stuff some wool in there. Like, like in my other van build video when I showed how to insulate the van, uh, you can just stuff with your fingers into the little holes the wool. Uh, you might want to use some spray foam, but remember what I said earlier about that. And uh, those are really your only two options that I can think of. If you have some other tricks, put them down in the comments below. For our purposes, we are going to do the finger stuff uh, through the holes and see how that goes. All right, for this next stage, there, what you're going to need is some tape to hold your bats in place so that as the car vibrates over the road and whittles and moves and you open and close your doors, that wool doesn't gradually collapse down uh, to the bottom like it would in a house, like loose fill insulation does in a house with all that opening and closing of the doors. It actually starts to collapse. 
so you lose some of your insulation value. We don't want to do that. So we're going to hold it in place with the Gorilla Tape. You could use any kind of tape that's going to really stick. Now, speaking of sticks, we got our pusher. Sometimes the simplest solution is the best solution. This is going to be our pusher for the little holes. Now, this is a little tiny piece of the insulation. You can make them even tinier like that, and that's what we're going to be stuffing through. Nice and loose. Remember in that build, that insulation video uh, that you know, I'll link below, you want to be able to compress your wool and um, let go, and it just springs into shape. It doesn't stay the shape that you held it. You want it to spring out a little bit, so this is good. Uh, the bats are kind of loose on the outside, and they're firmer on the inside, and that's okay. That's going to work just fine. So the bats are going to go down below, and the looser bits are going to go up above. And we're going to start by just feeding in the wool right in there. And we'll get as far as we can with the finger. Dave Vidham did the other, the rest of the van. He insulated the rest of the van. And you can see that footage. He gave a great explanation of how he did it. Um, and my gosh, he did this <laughs> for so many stretches of feet in the van. It took him quite a while. So I don't mind doing this at all. This I got off easy. Um, and yeah, you know what? It's just going in there and it's moving wherever I put it. Uh, it's not sharp. My, fin my finger fits just right in there. Now it's time to push it back a little bit. So let's see. Oh yeah, you know, it's going right on over there. Oh, that's easy peasy. Yeah, there we go. So, yep, and I'm just going to make sure I, I kind of scrape it up into the top section too. Yep. Okay. You know, I lived in a in a shed for a year that I insulated with, with this wool and, in Vermont. And in the deep winter, with a little bit of, you know, space heat added, I was very cozy. Well, in order to keep that wool from sliding down the column, we're just going to add some Gorilla Tape, just like we did for this one, right over it. And we'll do that on the other door as well. All right, let's start a stuffing. There we go. Let's get this stuffed up in there. It's tempting to, to stuff it tight. Uh, I just have to keep remembering what Dave Vidham said, <laughs> which is keep it loose. Keep it loose or else it'll just become a conductor rather than an insulator. All right, just get this last little bit here. The, the next task is going to be to reinstall the cover. Now, when I took off this cover, I did snap one of the, the um, plugs here. That's not a problem at all. There are lots of other plugs and uh, that can be, that bottom plug can be replaced as well. We're just going to see if it's good enough without that plug uh, plugged completely in. Done. Okay, that is done. <sighs> All right. All right, just fit the plugs right over their holes. Oh, they just press in so easily. <laughs> good. Very good. Very good. When you're pushing on the plastic to get it to go back into the, the holes, for the plugs to go into the holes, your door is going to want to move backwards too. 
So you're going to want to lock it. <sighs> this is a fully insulated cargo door. Rinse and repeat with the other door, and you're good to go. This entire project could take you 30 to 45 minutes if you have everything set up ahead of time. You know, have your wool, obviously, have your tools, uh, and yeah, I think you'll be good to go real quick. You uh, don't have to replace this plastic cover. You could cover it with, you know, some wood or some fabric. It's up to you. Uh, I chose to replace it right now. And in, at a future date, future video, of course, uh, I'll cover this up with something really nice. So that is how you insulate your cargo doors in a Ford Transit van. It'll also work in a Mercedes Sprinter, in a Ram Promaster, in a Chevy Express, a GMC Savannah, any cargo van. Uh, you just might, you're going to have holes in different locations and uh, you can totally figure that out. So you can do it. So if you're interested in how to build a healthy van, there's a whole series that I'm releasing and you can see links to each video down below in the description. I'll also put some links up above on the screen. And you can also go to the channel page and click on videos or playlists and see what I've been up to. I really do believe that anybody can do it. As long as you keep your own needs in mind and don't try to just make it fit somebody else's idea of perfect. We all learn from each other. We all improve upon uh, one another. And I really hope that you make your own version of perfect. If you have any questions or any ideas, I love reading the comments. Subscribe below so you can see the latest and hit that thumbs up button too because it's like a vote that tells YouTube, hey, show this video to other people. More people need to see how to insulate cargo doors. There aren't a whole lot of videos out there and I think it'd be great to get the word out. All right, you take care. You can do it. Enjoy your journey.